Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back with the next review of the Fangoria Challenge. And this time we watched The Sender. The Fangoria Challenge is a series in which Jason from Horrific Nightmares and I watch and review all 101 best horror movies you've never seen, according to Fangoria in this book. And as you can see right here, The Sender is one of them. The Sender is a 1982 horror film that begins with a man walking into a public park, picking up a rock, putting it underneath his jacket, and walking right into the lake. But his suicide attempt fails, and the man is rescued and brought to a psychiatric hospital. When he wakes up, he has amnesia and cannot even remember his own name. And so, the hospital staff refers to him as John Doe 83. But who John Doe really is, is the sender. He has the telepathic ability to literally send his dreams and transmit his visions to those around him. Or I guess really anyone for that matter. That's what he does to his therapist, Dr. Gail Farmer. She is actually able to see his dreams while she's awake and he's asleep. And this, of course, comes with dangerous consequences. I hate to say it, but that's all I'm going to give you. Because The Sender is another one of those films where you should watch it knowing as little as possible. I'd also probably make it sound way more confusing than it is. This was a first time watch for both Jason and I, and once again, Fangoria hit the nail on the head. I've been nothing less than impressed with this list so far, and The Sender is another movie that definitely belongs in this book. I'd be willing to bet that many, if not most of you, have never seen it. Like I said, Jason and I hadn't either, until now. It's another hidden gem on what has been a list of hidden gems so far. Immediately as the movie began, I said to Jason, I really like the setting. It's also very well acted. Zeljko Ivanek, who plays John Doe 83, or The Sender, was fantastic. And this was his first film. I really like the look of the hospital as well. There are quite a few what Jason and I would consider hell yeah moments. The words wow and damn came up a lot while we were watching it. With that being said, the ending does, I wouldn't say fall apart, but bend a bit. The first hour and 15 minutes or so are very strong, and then the last 15 are a bit weaker. Even still, The Sender was pretty awesome. It's not a movie you want to just put on in the background, though. You really want to pay attention, and it deserves your attention. In fact, it deserves more attention, which is why it's part of the Fangoria Challenge and one of the 101 best horror movies you've never seen. And my relatable recommendation, which I also feel deserves more attention, is Patrick. Patrick is a 1978 horror film about a comatose patient who also has a telekinetic ability. And in the simplest terms, let's just say he uses it to affect the life of his private nurse. It's a really good underappreciated horror film. Just like The Sender. Have you seen it? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. And please be sure to check out Jason's review. What will we review next in the Fangoria Challenge? Check back soon to find out. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind, subscribe.